Hello, everyone. Um, thank you very much for inviting me and providing me with the travel grant. Um, it's a big honor to be here today. And um, uh, I'm going to talk about the work in progress. So it's our project that we uh, do at the lab that I run um, at the University uh, of ITMO. It's uh, situated in St. Petersburg, Russia. And I'm a director of uh, International Research DH Lab, and, um, which is co-directed by Professor Kiramidas from NYU. So the project we're currently working on, the biggest one, uh, it's called Inter Interretrospectiva, so it's kind of a tricky name because um, we're still figuring out uh, what the name for the project, but it's kind of like the, the name that we have right now. Uh, so uh, the idea of the project is kind of like a combination of a mapping project and um, a network analysis project because we not only want to map all the locations and uh, important landmarks of St. Petersburg, which are many, of course, but we also want to establish connections between those locations. And uh, in order to do so, we collect a huge data set, so we work closely with the biggest Russian library, which is called the Russian National Library. And so they help us to collect this data set, including uh, different types of primary sources, such as uh, memoirs, uh, bibliographies, uh, biographies, um, and uh, periodic and um, non-periodic journals, magazines, etc. Uh, starting dating from uh, 1703, when St. Petersburg was found, um, and we want to actually analyze this data set using NLP and uh, use a named and title recognition algorithm to find all the people and all the locations and uh, what is more important, how they connected. So for example, if I'm looking for a Pushkin, um, I was looking for a Pushkin lived Moika 12, which was uh, his um, uh, apartment that he actually died. Um, and uh, so in order to do so, it's, it's actually a very tricky thing because um, all named and title recognition algorithm, they trained uh, on the English corpora. And in, to do so in Russian, it's very uh, difficult because uh, Russian, we can skip the verb in Russian. Uh, and we still understand what's going on. And it's not subject, verb, object uh, language, it's very, um, complicated in this regard. Uh, so we want to develop uh, and um, somehow expand this named entire recognition algorithm in order to do what we want and to collect the data set that we can actually uh, put in a platform. So uh, the idea is actually to create an open source uh, web platform and also um, develop the mobile application that could be used by tourists and by all people come to St. Petersburg or by people who live in St. Petersburg. Um, and so we now talking about the, the prototype. So it's actually uh, the design mostly. So, but you can see that there will be keywords uh, which will be found out by neural network. Um, and uh, there will be a search box, so you can just type in with anything you want. And um, what you can find is the connections between different locations in St. Petersburg. And um, in order to do so, we actually run the Deathathon, and uh, we had 100 participants who were doing the markup for us. Uh, we even developed the, the tool for markup in the text, so we found the co-referenced entities in all our primary sources, and we collected 15K uh, entities, uh, which is actually the 10% of Russian corpora existed nowadays. Uh, yeah, so you will have some information about different locations, of course, but we try to avoid much text. We want to focus on infographics and uh, visual and uh, user-friendly interface that everybody can use it. So if we talk about the target audience, it's mostly like everyone. So you're welcome to ask questions, and I would be very happy to answer them. Um, thank you very much.